Welcome to a special edition of the Coach's Corner on Juice 34. I'm your host, Chris from Manguel, and I'm here with special guest. Alex Contreras, head track coach. So, Coach, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself uh, for the viewers out there that who don't know about yourself in here at Greenville High School. Okay. Um, I uh, went to college, played football at AM Commerce University right down the road. Uh, once I graduated college, I got a job here at Greenville working for uh, as a track and, and football assistant coach. Right. After about three years, then I got promoted to the head track coach and been head track coach ever since. And uh, all 10 years of my coaching experience has been here at Greenville. Oh, that's nice. So uh, tell us about uh, this upcoming season. What is like a typical day and a typical cool practice uh, for the Greenville Lions? Okay, uh, so typically we start, you know, as after track is after school only, and uh, we go uh, first things, a couple warm up laps, uh, mm -hmm. get the coaches organized, let the kids kind of get loosened up. And we usually go anywhere from two to four warm up stations, uh, and we'll go through that segment once or twice. Um, then running days, we'll hit our running workout. Nice. If we have skill days, then we hit our jumps and relay handoffs and blocks. And uh, then the week is just kind of split up, alternating between those type of workouts for the, for the remainder of the week until meet day. That's exciting, Coach, because I know it's a lot of aspects uh, with the track team and, uh, you know, just focusing on uh, all the individual uh, competitions mm -hmm. within a track meet. What are uh, some of the strongest uh, events that you guys are strong in this year? Uh, this year, I think I, I, on the boys' side for sure would be some of our sprints, uh, our short sprinters. We have a, a kid right now. Um, it's very early in the season, but his mark is, I believe, number one in 5A in the 100-meter dash. He ran a, Caleb Johnson ran a 10.58 uh, oh, wow, last that's week. Impressive. And so he was moving a little bit yes. uh, for early season. And uh, so hopefully he can keep getting better. Our relays last year, um, we made it to regionals. Our four by one made it to the regional finals, which is one step away from state. So we're hoping to repeat that, um, plus a couple of other pieces that we're putting together. So I think our short sprints on our on our boys' side, our girls' side, our four by two relay qualified for area last year, and so hopefully they're trying to take the next step and make it to regionals this year. Um, so, so those are some pretty big goals. Do you have any uh, specific? Uh, as far as accomplishments or personal records that you want the students to accomplish this season? Uh, yeah, uh, like I said, both, I think, especially on the boys' side, um, because of those marks that our kids have set, Caleb Johnson and Miles both are ranked, I believe, in the top five right now in, in 5A for the 100-meter dash. Right. Both of them are also on a couple of the relays. And so on the boys' side with those group and a couple other kids with relays and those kids to make it to state. Um, a couple of years ago, as we were trying to develop the program, we were trying to just get kids to get to area and to regionals. And now we fast forward a couple of years, and now the goal has moved to state. And so that's kind of where we're looking for on the boys' side. On the girls' side, as we're still developing, right. they made the first step and get to area, and now the next step for them is regionals. And so as we just kind of continue to develop over the years, that's where we just progress with our goals and, and get bigger and bigger every year. So uh, talk about the students' focus level. I know that um, you guys are getting prepared for your first track meet of the season. Uh, what has the focus level been like in practice? Uh, I, I think our practices have been pretty good. Um, we've excited. Um, you know, early in the season, it's hard to tell what your number's going to be like. A lot of kids are basketball and, right. and softball and soccer, and we get a lot of crossover kids, and that's something that we stress a lot here at Greenville is, is multi-sport and working with each other to let mm -hmm. kids do everything. If I have a great athlete, I want him to do baseball and basketball and, and all this other stuff, same thing on the girls' side. And so now basketball season's over for both the boys and girls, mm -hmm. and so now we're getting a full picture of everybody that we have and getting them in the right place and so I think the excitement level comes up you know when you have a lot of kids working towards a big goal the excitement level increases and so I think that's happening quite oh, a bit. Oh absolutely and then also for them to give their full 100% attention to uh, track. Correct. So Correct. Uh, talk about this upcoming uh, meeting that's uh, coming up uh, for the track team. So uh, what do you expect to see out of this? I know this is the first mm -hmm. meet of the season. Yes uh, well I, actually uh, this is our third meet of the season. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yes, sir. So we've ran our first meet was at Wiley East uh, two weeks ago. Last week we were at, ran at North Garland, and this will be our, our home meet. Oh, gotcha. Um, yes, sir. So this will be the third meet of the year technically for us, uh, but it's our home meet. Uh, big meet coming, 14 yes. teams. Uh, I'm still trying to make sure I organize all that and get all the little <laughs> stuff, organizational stuff, but I think the kids are excited. Uh, they always like to represent and run in front of their friends and family 
and want to represent Greenville at the home track. And so I think the, the excitement level, the focus level, and, and intensity of the practices has been pretty good this week because they want to have a good showing. They know when that bell rings for school to be over, their friends are going to walk over and be ready oh, yes. to see them running, and so they want to make sure they put on a good show. That's great, Coach. Tell us a little bit about how do you get prepared for these meets coming up as far as mentally uh, before going into a meet? Um, you know, I just try to tell them, the, the kids especially, to they don't have to do anything different than what they've been doing uh, to run their best. Um, I tell them goals from week to week is increase and improve your mark from the previous week. And right. so if you long jump 20 feet, I want you, you ought to be shooting for 20 feet, six inches this week. If you ran a 11 flat, you ought to be looking to run a 10 nine, you know, it's, it's small incremental increases. And, and I think when you have a home meet, and the intensity level and energy level, excitement level is yeah. up, that's when some special things can happen. So hopefully that, that happens tomorrow. All right, we're looking forward to see the lines going out there showing improvement, Coach. Yes, Appreciate sir. you being on the Coach's Corner. All right, thank you. All right, until next time. This video has been brought to you by Juice34. Juice is your community-owned provider for electric, internet, cable TV, and true local programming.